Mechanics working feverishly in the paddock of Silverstone before the John Player Grand Prix 1973. Graham Hill's Embassy Shadow Ford making its British debut. John Player specials of Ronnie Peterson and Emerson Fittipaldi. Denny Holm, Team Yardley McLaren. Peter Revson driving his Yardley McLaren Ford out of the paddock. Yodi Schechter, also Yardley McLaren, number 30. Nicky Lauder and a Marlborough BRM. Jackie Stewart and Tyrrell Ford, number five. A final word between the reigning champion and his mechanics. Ronnie Peterson in number two. Jackie Stewart, number five. Francois Sever. Schechter, number 30, followed by Revson and Hull. And it's a push-off for Jackie Stewart. Graham Hill. And Fittipaldi. And they're off. Racing towards Cops Corner, Jackie Stewart is already in the lead with Peterson and Carlos Reutemann in number 10 close behind. Beckett's Corner is the tightest corner on the track and there's always a danger of oversteering and careering off the track onto the grass on the outside. Club corner and Stewart still in the lead, followed by number two, Peterson, and number ten, Reutemann. On the second lap, and Stewart has established a clear 300-yard lead, still being chased by Peterson and Reutemann. But there's trouble in the rear. At 160 miles per hour plus, Yodi Schechter, number 30, takes Woodcote wide slews across the grass into the safety barrier and ricochets back onto the track into the path of other cars racing into him at more than 150 miles per hour. In split seconds, there's one almighty pileup as car after car crashes into the wreckage. Marshals flag down other cars still speeding unawares around Woodcote towards the danger zone. The remains of Schechter's Yardley McLaren. It's like a battlefield. Old timers say nothing like this has ever happened before in the history of Grand Prix racing. All three of the Brookbond Surtees team are a write-off and John Surtees wonders whether he can ever start up again. And Andrea de Adamich is trapped in his Brabham Ford. The British Grand Prix starts for the second time, nine cars short out of the original 28. And this time it's Ronnie Peterson in number two in the lead as they race round Cops Corner. Beckett's Corner with Peterson holding on to the lead. Peterson, Nicky Lauder in a Marlborough BRM and Jackie Stewart. Cops Corner, second lap, no change. But at Beckett's Corner, Stewart is lying second. With Nicky Lauder close behind, followed by Emerson Fittipaldi. Peterson, Stewart, Lauder, Fittipaldi, Denny Holm and Peter Revson. And on the sixth lap, Stewart drops back to 13th place after spinning at Stowe, trying to overtake Peterson. Graham Hill's new embassy shadow rounding Beckett. So far, no challenge to the leader. And next time round at Beckett's, Graham's in trouble, and it looks like he's out of the race. On lap 37, Fittipaldi loses drive to his rear wheels. Francois Sever, number six. Lap 52, Revson in the lead. But then Holm in number seven overtakes Hunt in 27. And it's Revson racing towards the finish with Peterson second and Holm third. Revson, Peterson, Holm and James Hunt in a Hesketh March four. American Peter Revson wins the British Grand Prix 1973 in a Yardley McLaren Ford.